Cocktail Freak Show, what's up? I'm coming to you today with the State of Warzone ad address. Yeah. Right, guys, we're going to be talking about the state of Warzone and what it is right now. Uh, a couple of different events that have happened in the previous, I, or as far as in the previous weeks, since my last quote-unquote state of Warzone. Uh, I keep following along with everything that's going on. I know I don't play it as much or as often as I used to, just due to the fact that I was not not happy with the state in which it was in uh ever since season one kind of rolled around i w i had been looking for something new for a couple months before and then when cold war came out and then season one integration all that sort of stuff i kind of fell really far off on the war zone i did play it yesterday and i do feel like that i there has been a change or a, a mode that i can kind of get behind and it has got me more excited about what is going on than i have been in a really 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 long time um, but with that being said, there are a few things that are still hold me back and we'll get get into that later in the video But first off, let's talk about different events that have been going on outside of Warzone in which there is a, a, there is a, a large positive trend uh, Occurring out of all of this uh, And so the first thing that I want to talk about is Vicstar If you don't know who Vicstar is, uh, you probably should if you're a Call of Duty person on YouTube uh, Vicstar has a very large channel and does a lot of different uh, content uh, for Warzone and for Call of Duty. And so in one of his latest videos, he said that he is going to be quitting Warzone, which got Call of Duty very, very scared uh, to have an 8 million subscriber channel. Um, that influencer be able to say like, look, I really don't like this game. A lot of people will uh, will follow along in that and say like, you know, oh yeah, he doesn't like it. You know, I have gotten kind of old of it too, blah, blah, blah. And so, you know, as the people follow their great leader, um, that they they show watch religiously um, Then you're gonna have a lot of people have a problem with said game uh, and so Rightly so call of duty goes. Hey Vicstar, you know hey, Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's figure this out, you know and uh, and he <laughs> <laughs> he, pay, he apparently got an open line of communication. So if any of y'all out there really want to uh, want to talk to Activision, give them a piece of your mind uh, and, and let them know uh, what's wrong with the game and how they think they should fix it. Just build an 8 million subscriber YouTube channel and uh, fast track yourself right into the uh, boardroom of Activision is what it seems like. So uh, good for that. That seems uh, that seems really great. I just I just hate the fact that the community has screamed and yelled about this issue for so long, uh, and nobody has blatted an eye at all. And then uh, you know they finally topple one of the people who is probably one of their biggest influencers. <laughs> Whoa! Well, uh, everybody, run run free. We have to we have to figure out what's going on. We didn't think we were this far down. Anyway. It just it just blows my mind, um, but good on Vicstar for actually bringing to attention uh, the needs of this game, and hopefully there's a good representation there on what actually needs to take place to uh, fix this. Um, but subsequently, outside of that, after his little talk or, or expression of what was going on, uh, we got two interesting tweets: one from the official Call of Duty Twitter and one from Raven Software. Uh, the first one from Call of Duty, the actual Call of Duty account, was stating that uh, cheating has no place in Warzone or in Call of Duty, uh, and that 60,000 accounts had been banned, uh, and that we should follow Raven Software for more updates on Warzone. Uh, and with that being said, Raven Software then reiterated saying that cheating was not available and that they would have more updates soon which speculation a galore that there is going to be anti-cheat coming soon to warzone now of course that's complete hype and complete speculation there has not been an official thing stating that that will be a thing coming in but there has been it looks like a move uh into actually taking no cr not into taking serious action against companies that provide cheats uh, for people. So uh, if you're cheating, uh, good luck in the coming months. Uh, you had apparently you've had your fun for over a year, so uh, you shouldn't be mad. Let's be honest, you really shouldn't be mad. Um, so moving away from all of that, thank you, Vicstar, for uh, you know actually using your influence to actually influence a company to try and better themselves. Uh, we've just been trying to do that for over a year, and uh, anyway, a lot of us are really tired of it, which is the reason that I left a long time ago. Moving from that, though, 
let's talk about meta um we had dmr back i think the last time that i talked about warzone in general uh the dmr meta apparently you know nerfed out the way and there's a whole bunch of different guns that are more viable now and that are actually useful compared to having to use a dmr just so that you can out outpace the people who are trying to kill you uh, with that being said, I've seen like the foul, the aug, um, I had the growl hitting some people pretty good, uh, yesterday when I was playing. Uh, and so that meta feels a lot better. I, I actually enjoyed my time playing a little bit, which, which made it more fun. Um, and so I... I might be venturing back into Warzone a little bit. I'm not really sure. Uh, I do need a new graphics card because this gameplay that you're probably watching, it looks horrendous. But anyway, uh, with that aside, hopefully I can move back in uh, to gaming with it. I need to get a 3080 in order for it to actually like, you know, run smoothly or, or a lot better. Um, but we'll see where that goes. Um, and, uh, and, and that's more or less just a personal type ordeal. But moving back toward the war zone ideology and everything um what do you guys think tell me in the comments down below is war zone dying what do you think would be better do you think that there's a change that they could implement something that could come about to make you feel better about the game as far as like maybe a new map or new skin new guns uh something that that would liven up gameplay that would make you feel a little bit better or are you still content with what you got and you're enjoying playing and you're okay with going in day after day uh and having to deal with hackers and having to deal with the same map the same rotations so on and so forth and uh you're completely fine with that tell me what you think down below in the comments would be much appreciated and i would love to correspond with some of you guys about what you think because i mean in all honesty i really don't see where this moves forward or where things go from here because uh the fps portion of of gaming is just real lackluster in everything that's happening right now like there's not something that people would really want to play that's fps besides warzone and call of duty um as far as there's no other titles out there for anybody to go to so i really do think that warzone will be here to stay for at least a while maybe battlefield 6 will drum up some stuff but um battlefield has gone uh, downhill very very quickly over their last well i say very very quickly over like a four or five year span uh with their latest titles there used to be a lot of people who played battlefield who loved battlefield uh and then you had the uh cops and robbers what was that one called hardline battlefield hardline that really took a took a hit to the franchise and then battlefield 5 where it was their rendition of world war ii instead of just having historical facts um they decided to put a spin on everything that got a whole big a humdrum uh so we'll see what they do with battlefield 6 we'll see where it comes to and how they play it out uh, <laughs> i don't know we'll see what happens uh but their franchise is definitely taking a hit but it's the perfect time for them to bounce back just due to the fact that there's not much that people are like super excited about playing uh, and there's a big void that you could probably fill with people wanting to to jump on something new and have some fun in something different there's not much variety inside of FPS, and so there is prime opportunity for someone to come out with a game that people will really enjoy. Um, as far as the BR landscape, I've seen a bunch of different little games coming out. If you guys have anything that you want me to look into that I you know, could test out or anything, show it in the comments down below so that I can take a look at it. Other than that, I don't really have too much to say. It looks like we're stuck with Warzone for a while. There is a positive trend and hopefully things can be capitalized because it's got me a little bit hyped for what, what's to come. Uh, but on the, on the flip side of that, I am not like super gung-ho thinking that this game is going to last for a super long time. So tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Do you think that this game is on its last leg? Do you think it's on its way out? would you play it for another year or two tell me tell me tell me tell me i would love to know love to have correspondence with you down below anywho enjoy your freaking days i will catch you guys in the next video um good luck warzone we'll see where this goes <laughs> Hey, YouTube viewer, appreciate you watching the video. I don't know how Warzone's going to be, man. I really don't. I think that there's a positive trend, but you never know. Anyway, there's some more videos over here. There's a sub button up above me. I would really appreciate the support. Enjoy your freaking days. I will catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.